Hey guys, Ryan Carter here once again in New Jersey, suffering from chronic wasting, prion disease from a uh, antler velvet spray that I had taken uh, a few years ago. I uh, just want to give you guys an update on the stuff that I'm routinely taking. There was a website called uh, Mad Cow Remedies, uh, so it's similar, similar diseases. Also, I read some research and some things on Alzheimer's disease, which they're saying Alzheimer's is a result uh, of accumulation of amyloid plaques or prion uh, buildup in people's brains and bodies and stuff like that. So uh, I've been taking some things here, um, some turmeric, colloidal silver, um, some uh, calcium, vitamin D3, um, cayenne pepper. Uh, I take for pain ibuprofen, which doesn't really do much. Um, and the turmeric helps a little bit with that. Um, I also, as per their their remedies, they had apple cider vinegar on there, which I put in water. Um, some coconut oil there. Um, I take spoonfuls of that uh, a couple times a day, or I cook with it. And olive oil also. Um, and another thing. Um, they said was good was dimethyl sulfoxide. I don't really have money. Uh, I've been trying to get on a, a disability for God knows how many months now, and they just keep denying me, keep denying me, saying that there's not enough proof. Um, which I sent them the CDC warning and the supplement that I took and everything like that. Um, but uh, dimethyl sulfoxide actually it's found in rainwater. So I, sometimes I'll just fill up a bottle, some bottles of rainwater, and just drink that. Um, you know, I gotta be my own guinea pig and treat myself because no doctors, um, nobody's helping me. Um, I do take prescription, two prescriptions though. Uh, the mirtazapine for sleep, 30 milligrams. Sometimes I gotta take two of those a night because sometimes one's not enough to go to sleep. And the boost par for the anxiety and extreme anxiety and nervousness that I deal with. Um, on a daily basis, as soon as I wake up and stuff like that, um, the, the anxiety and the nervousness is like through the roof. It's like one of the worst feelings in the world. Um, so, I mean, actually, I should probably be on Xanax or I should really be on Ativan because that's what works best for me. But they don't prescribe me Xanax anymore and they're definitely not going to prescribe me Ativan. Um, so they they put me on Boost Par, which really doesn't do shit for the anxiety, but at least it does a little something. Something's better than nothing. Um, so these are all the things that I had to learn along the way. And I also did some research recently and found out, figured out that uh, sugar and glucose seems to uh, progress the disease and makes it go to your brain quicker and stuff like that. So I've been trying to stay away from sugar, um, anything with sugar in it and stuff like that now. I mean, even the research shows for Alzheimer's um, that sugar is extremely bad for it because I guess it helps accumulate the prions or the amyloid plaques in their brains and stuff like that for whatever reason. I guess because our brains release um, uh, insulin. Not only does our pancreas and stuff like that, but our brains produce insulin as well. I don't know if, you know, God, if a lot of people know that or not. Our brains produce insulin. So for some reason, I think when we eat sugar, because for some reason with the prion disease, you get an extreme, uh, extreme sweet tooth for whatever reason it is, I guess it does something chemically to, you, chemically to your brain and stuff. Um, so I guess when you when you're consuming so much, so many sweets and stuff, um, there's consistently uh, insulin being released into your brain, and that's I guess triggering or causing more amyloid plaques and prions to build up in that area uh, because of that factor, or whatever. I guess it's like kind of like a cascade effect or something like that. Um, so I've been trying to just. Uh, eat a lot of nuts. I don't have a lot of a lot of appetite. I just mostly drink a lot of water with the apple cider vin apple cider vinegar in there. Um, I eat like raisin bran when I wake up in the morning uh, because of the extreme constipation I deal with and the dehydration that I deal with with this disease and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just uh, just just make another video telling you guys uh, the stuff that I've been kind of self treating. Another blog for people to check out and to if they ever come. If they ever get a prion disease and they have to uh, treat it themselves because nobody believes them and nobody can figure it out and stuff like that, uh, you can learn from from me uh, from the, some of the stuff that I'm taking is helping a little bit. 
Um, I eat, I've been eating some fish lately, and you know I haven't been eating a lot of food because my appetite is just shit. And uh, I've been having a lot of issues with my brain again lately with my memory and stuff like that. And uh, just being able to do things uh, for myself. Um, I'm still able to cut my hair myself. I got to do all that myself, which is getting kind of harder and harder to do. Um, and I've just been having some crazy wild sleep and dreams lately, um, which you'll get that also and stuff. So um, once again, Ryan Cardi here in South Jersey. Uh, posting about the chronic wasting prion disease that I'm dealing with and uh, just trying to help other people out there in case it ever happens to them and giving them the heads up and some uh, some pointers and, and some tips of what they could possibly do for themselves. So, all right, guys, uh, take care and uh, say a prayer for me and my family. God bless. Later.